noticed something and I wanted to share it with you. And I think you might be able to find these in your gardens as well. Or maybe you've seen them around and wondered what is that. So I'm going to show you now what I'm talking about. I was coming out in my garden. And I was sitting here at this bench. And I noticed in this plant there was not only beautiful flowers, but I noticed something else. I kept seeing little bits of foam in the plant. I don't know if you can see the foam. Do you see that? And I know I've seen these before around, but I wanted to learn a little bit more about them. Oh, wow. There's some more right there. It's really hard to see with the phone. Okay, so I wanted to teach you what I learned. Oh, but first, look at what I see. See if you can see this. Can you see our friend? She's trying to climb. I wonder where she's going. Okay, so while she's doing that work, I am going to show you what is in this foam. Okay, come with me. Well, kind of step. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so. Here we have a leaf with some of the foam on it. And I want to show you what's inside. Okay. There's actually a beetle that I'll try to find later for you to see that loves to fly, especially in our maple trees, or jump around, called a frog hopper. And a frog hopper has different stages, just like any other insect. And it starts with eggs, and then the eggs out of the eggs come the larva or a little nymph. Okay. So I'm going to try to do this while I'm holding the camera. And the nymph, so what happens is this little insect inside there lives off the juices of the plant and it drinks the water just like I was showing you in the last video how all plants need water to drink. Well, this plant has water within its leaf or in its stem. And there must be some coming up here if you can see the line going up. And that's what it drinks and drinks and drinks. And then out come the bubbles. And the bubbles work because they protect the nymph from getting eaten. Look at that. Can you see it? He says, hey, what are you doing? And they're called frog hoppers or spittle bucks. So I'm going to see if I can show you a little closer. He's saying, hey, watch out. Do you see it? Do you see its eyes? He's saying, hey, that was my home. Don't worry, he'll find his place back. But I just wanted you to observe it. And I wonder if I can make it jump because that's what they're known for. Last time I made the little guy jump, he might not be ready to jump quite yet. Look at that. And when we zoom today, I'm gonna to show you a little video that I found about the life cycle of the frog hopper. It's an amazing insect. And this is just so after the egg, this is what comes out and then it'll go through a metamorphosis and change just like a butterfly does from a caterpillar. So this is the larva stage. And then it will form a pupa and do its metamorphosis and then it will change into a full grown frog hopper. 
but they can jump so high, it's amazing. This little guy isn't gonna jump. Do you notice it has three legs on one side and three legs on the other side? And it has eggs. I mean eggs, it has two eyes. And it has an abdomen. And that's where the bubbles come out of its abdomen. And it creates the secretion that makes the bubbles, which then cover its body and protect it from getting eaten from other bugs or birds, if you can hear that crow. So I'm going to see if I can get it back on its little leaf to be nice. I don't know if it's going to want to go. Come on, little guy. And then maybe I might have to put the camera down. Oh. Okay, I'm going to place him back. There we go. And sometimes they go on other plants too. We're going to see if we can find any more. Any more spit bugs around here. Here I planted some seeds and I don't even remember what they were. These almost look like they're going to be poppies again, but I planted other ones too. So those are just coming out of our soil. And our strawberries, just like at school, they have made their flowers. And will you look at that? There's some strawberries already forming. See, they're green now, so you wouldn't eat them now. You have to wait till they turned red. But look, it starts underground, grows its leaves, it makes flowers, and then from that flower comes the strawberry. see. Boy, our pear, I mean our plum tree is really hanging down. I was going to see if there were any other insects to look at in here. Here are our roses. Oh, well, look at that. There's so many cool things in the garden. All right, so I'm gonna leave you with that and I will see you in a few.